Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am here with another empties and melting basket. Um, this is my, what the new things I'm gonna show you, I think are my last fall basket. I like technically have en enough to do another one, um, but they're things that I've gotten like fairly recently and I think I might save them for next fall and move into like some gingerbread bakery wintry goodness so let's see first up from sassy Roma, we have a sample of pumpkins and cranberries i gave this a 7 out of 10 it was a strong throw we also have a sample of maple bourbon 6 out of 10 strong throw um let's see i feel like there's another sample here somewhere four made sugar cookies brown fantasy wax 7 out of 10 strong throw from Literati, we had lots of pumpkin-y things. We had toasted pumpkin spice pumpkin crunch. Gave this a 9 out of 10 strong throw. Pumpkin crunch cake, funnel cake, not ice cream. This is very good. 9 out of 10 strong throw. And pumpkin pecan waffles, pumpkin sugar donut. 10 out of 10 strong throw. So I think I figured out with Glitterati I need about like a little less than I do from other people. And that is what was making my throw a little bit weaker. Um, from VCS um, we have lovely Lydia's pumpkin cider cake. Gave this an 8 out of 10 strong throw. From Birdies we have Sup Dog. Which I gave a 9 out of 10 medium throw and just beat it, which I gave a 8 out of 10 medium throw. From Rose Girls, we had Let's Go Girls, which is like the funniest name to me. Gave this an 8 out of 10 strong throw. And then we had lots of fantasy as always. Cranberry Zucchini Bread, this was so good. I want more. 9 out of 10 strong throw. Um zucchini pumpkin bread this is also really good nine out of ten strong throw apple strudel zucchini bread glazed donuts eight out of ten strong throw bandit which was blueberry cobbler pumpkin pecan waffles zucchini bread i don't know why i wasn't reading the sit notes to these other ones oh well eight out of ten strong throw scooby pumpkin pecan waffles bear claws french baguette seven out of ten strong throw uh, two of those and then lastly Chile, which was apple pecan pancake 7 out of 10 strong throw. So those are all of my empties. As always, I like to keep a little bit of my favorite things in my melting basket. So we have some one time cake from Fantasy Wax and Hannah's Baby from Birdies. I'm gonna start and like order some more keeping green machine from Sassy Aroma in there because I think those are like my top three and I'd love to just always have them on hand for when I want to melt them. All right. Let's get into the next melting basket. Okay, so first we have two rose girls. We have Carbs of the Cool Friends, which is probably my favorite rose girl snack. It is pumpkin sugar donuts, cookies, bread, vanilla bean noel, vanilla wafers, monster cookie, marshmallow smoothie. It's so good. It is like the perfect pumpkin bakery. Um, or yeah, pumpkin cinnamon bakery. If you get the cinnamon, it's not like overwhelming, so you really get like lots of sweetness. And then jumping on pumpkin pie pals, which is pumpkin pie, vanilla crunch donuts, cup of cake, cotton candy frosting, marshmallow smoothie, monster cookie. I think the things with these is there's like so many scent notes, and I'm like, I can't smell most of these things. This just smells like pumpkin. It's like almost like a store pumpkin, so we'll see. I do like it. Uh, we have lots of fantasy. We have um, Can I Keep You, which is apple, cinnamon, pumpkin spice latte, French baguette. I just love French baguette, honestly. Um, it is interesting with the pumpkin spice latte in there. It's a really interesting combo. I'm excited to see how it is. These are like, again, mostly newer things except the Glorati. Um, so. Yeah, they might not be like as cured as I normally do, but it's been a couple months. Sleepy Hollow, which is pumpkin pecan waffles, steam cakes, fresh bread. 
This is also fascinating. Look how I'm kind of awful some teen bits together. I have two of these because they're like not really big enough for my main living area. And then Shaggy, which is pumpkin con. Sorry, zucchini pumpkin bread, which I bought this one last week and really enjoyed. In Glorati, we have vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. Honestly, 10 out of 10. That smells so good. I can't wait to get that. And pumpkin sugar donut. Also really good. This one is a little bit more cinnamony. I give like vanilla pumpkin marshmallow 10. This a 9. We have some samples from L3. So we have pumpkin waffles, sugar cookie dough, strawberry jam, zucchini bread. It's really good. I give it like an 8 out of 10. Peanut butter, Danish butter cookies, pie crust, waffle cone. I like don't know about peanut butter and wax. Yeah, like I don't, I don't like love, love this, but I'm going to try it. And lastly, country berry hot cakes, pumpkin cone waffles. Amazing. So good. So that is my, I think, we'll see. We'll see how I'm doing. I do still have, like I said, probably enough for another fall basket. I don't, I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling when I get like close to the end of this. If I want to do one more fall or if I'm ready to move into like gingerbread winter. I don't do Christmas tree scents because I'm allergic. So it basically is like gingerbread bakery for me and like peppermint um, for the holidays. So we'll see if I am vibing with that or if I want to do another fall. But it's like mid-November right now. So I'm probably going to finish this in November. And that seems like a good time to move into gingerbread. So might save those other things for next fall. But thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and be good to yourself today.